Learn to lead. We make winners who lead. Hello students. Greetings from Firebird Institute of Research and Management. In this video, we are going to discuss MAT 2022 December uh, questions. So already we have posted two videos based on MAT 2022 December questions as well as we have uh, added another complete video based on December MAT 2022 question paper analysis. So let me provide you all these three video links in the description box. You can refer it after watching this video completely. And in this video, we are going to provide you only five questions. We just don't want to burden you. Okay, so two days once we are going to post you few questions or five to seven questions based on MAT questions. And also we are going to give you more conceptual ideas like what is digital marketing what is fintech what are the next generation needed courses that you have to learn before joining your mba okay these are the ideas which we are going to see in our next upcoming videos so don't forget to subscribe our channel they are your all our videos will reach you soon okay now let us go to this uh, question so already we have posted the 30 questions which was asked in the December math uh, question paper. And this is the 31st question. Okay. Now, see here. Arjun saved 25 percentage of his last year's income and deposited in his bank account. If his income was rupees 4 lakhs. So, what is 25 percentage of 4 lakhs? It is nothing but 1 lakh. What will be the total amount he will get after two years at a rate of 20 percentage per, comp per annum compounded annually? See, if it is 20 percentage per annum, if it is compounded annually, then for two years you have to calculate. See, you can use a shortcut formula A plus B plus AB by 100 for these types of questions. Okay, this first A represents the interest for the first year, it is 20 percentage, and B represents the interest for the second year. Again, it is same 20 percentage and AB by 100 this represents. So we have in compound interest, what they will do is for first year's interest amount also, they will calculate interest for the second year. That is the value. That is a calculation which we are going to do in the AB by 100. So you have to multiply both the interest rates divided by 100. So if you solve this 40 plus 20 into 20 is what? 400, 400 by 100, 4. So 44 percentage. So, Arjun deposited 1 lakh. What is 44 percentage of 1 lakh? 44,000. So, 1 lakh 44,000 Arjun will get at the end of 2 years. Okay, next. We'll see the next question. Okay, see, now we are going to see the next question which is based on trying problem. So, in trying problem, you should note the basic formula. We know that distance is equal to speed into time and time is equal to distance by speed. Okay, time is equal to distance by speed. See, time A passes a vendor selling on a platform in 43 seconds. So, let us take time taken by A to cross a vendor. This, here, distance is nothing but length of time A divided by speed of time A. Okay. What is the time taken by A to cross the vendor 43 seconds? So, 43 is equal to length of trine A divided by speed of trine A. Keep as it is. And trine B passes the same vendor in 33 seconds. So, 33 is equal to length of trine B divided by speed of trine B. Okay. Now, if trine A and B pass each other completely in 37 seconds. So, if there are two mo moving objects and if they are traveling in same or opposite direction, you have to consider their relative speed. Same time is equal to distance by speed formula we are going to use. But here you have to represent relative speed. Okay. And when there are two long trines crossing each other, the distance is nothing but length. Sum of length of both the trines is their distance. Okay. Length of trine A plus length of trine B divided by relative speed is nothing but what? Speed of trine A plus speed of trine B. Okay, now they are asking what is the ratio of their speeds. So, what you can do? So, time taken by both the trines to cross each other is nothing but 37 seconds. Okay, represent length of trine A and length of trine B in terms of what? Speed. 
So from this length of train A is equal to 43 into speed of train A and length of train B is equal to 33 into speed of train B. Okay, so length of train A, 43 into speed of train A plus length of train B, 33 into speed of train B. Okay. Okay. Now, substitute their values here. Okay. Now, see here, divided by speed of train A plus speed of train B. So, if I cross multiply, I'll get 37 speed of train A into 37 into speed of train B is equal to 43 into speed of train A plus 33 into speed of train B. So, they are asking the ratio of train A and train B. So, 37 into speed of train A minus 43 into speed of train A is equal to 33 into speed of train B minus 37 into speed of train B, right? So, what is the difference? You'll get minus 6 into speed of train A is equal to minus 4 into speed of train B. So, minus minus, I can cancel. So, speed of train A by speed of train B is equal to 4 by 6. So, what is 4 by 6? 2 by 3. So, the ratio is 2 by 3. Okay. The ratio is 2 by 3 is your answer. Now, we'll move to the next question. Five bells are there in a church. They start tolling together at 10 a.m. every day. See, if they ask you questions like five bells or five lights, you have to take the LCM. So, what is the LCM for 12, 15, 8, 10 and 25? You can do by normal method. Okay. Or it should be a multiples of 25, right? You can also check. See, if I go by normal method, first I'll divide it by 2. 6, 15, 4, 5, 25. Again, if I divide it by 2, I'll get 3, 15, 2, 5, 25. So, now I can divide it by 3. Next stage. 1, 5, 2, 5, 25. Now, again, I can divide it by 5. 1, 1, 2, 1, 5. So, multiply everything. 2, 2s are 4. 4, 3s are 12. 12 into 5, 60. 60 into 2, 120. 120 into 5, 600. That is 600 seconds once all the bell will toll together. Convert this into minutes. Divided by 60. If I divide it by 60, 10 minutes once all the bell will toll together. In 2 hours, 12 times all the bell will toll together. That is your answer. Now, next. Now, see, there are two pipes fitted in system. Right? Pipe A can fill the system in 6 hours and pipe B can fill the system in 10 hours. Okay, pipe A can fill the system in 6 hours and pipe B can fill the system in 10 hours. But there is a leakage at the bottom. The pipes are open simultaneously. Here they have given what? The pipes are open simultaneously. Okay. Now, the pipes are open simultaneously and it is found that due to the leakage, it takes 45 minutes extra for the system to be filled. If the system is full and pipes A and B are closed, then how much time would the leakage take to empty the system? That is the question, right? So, let us consider first, what is the time taken, right? System filled by both the pipes in one hour. Both the pipes in one hour is equal to 1 by 10 plus 1 by 6. So, what is the LCM for 10 and 6? 30 is the LCM. So, 3 plus 5, it is what? 8 by 30 hours. So, in one hour, both the pipe will fill the system 8 by 30 parts. 8 by 30 parts of that system. Now, time taken by both pipes, time taken by both pipes to fill the system completely is what? 30 by 8 hours. Okay, but due to leakage, both the pipe, due to leakage, the system gets filled in extra 45 minutes. So, 30 by 8 plus 45 by 60. If you solve this, you will get 9 by 2 hours as your answer. Okay, now due to leakage in 1 hour, in 1 hour, 2 by 9 part of the tank gets empty. Okay, now parts of the system emptied is nothing but 8 by 30 minus 2 by 9. 8 by 30 
minus 2 by 9. The LCM here is 90. 24 minus 20 is 4. 4 by 9. So, if you take reverse reciprocal of this 90 by 4 has. So, the system alone will empty the whole tank in 90 by 4. So, if I check here, 22 1 by 2 is your answer. Okay. Now, Next one. The banker's gain from a certain sum due two years hence at 10 percentage per annum is rupees 24. What is the present worth of the sum? What is the present worth of the sum? So you have to know the banker's gain formula. Banker's gain into 100 divided by rate into time. Okay, banker's gain is 25 into 100 divided by rate of interest is 10 into the time taken is here two years. So if you solve this, you'll get 125 as your answer. Okay. Now the formula for present worth is equal to 100 into TD divided by rate into time. So if you solve this 100 into 125 divided by 10 into 2. So 0, 0 will get cancelled. And then 2, 1 times, here it is 5 times. So, if you solve this, 625 is your answer. Okay, right? So, I think you got few ideas how to solve the problems based on times. So, the first question here was a question based on bank. That is simple interest and compound interest. Second, it was based on a prime problem. And the third LCM concept, four time and work pipes and system concept. And in fifth one, again, it is a question being based on banker's interest concept. So I hope you all got few ideas based on how to solve these type of questions. So you can expect uh, these questions, not the same questions you can expect, but the questions of this type. So just uh, be thorough with the formulas. Okay. And a great information for all the math preparing students. So we are going to organize a national level mock test from Jan 7th to Jan 15th, 2023. Those who are aspiring for FebMAT, if you want to check your preparation level, you can enroll in this test. So the registration link for the this test, I'll provide you in the description box. You can refer to it. All the best students. Don't forget to register for this program. All the best. Learn to lead. We make winners who lead.